This is Jeffrey Goodman, pastor of Salem Evangelical Lutheran Church in Ephrata, of Pennsylvania. In this video, we are going to journey to the Bavarian city of Regensburg, which sits along the world-famous Danube River. Regensburg, for many years, was the site of imperial diets and has long been a leading city of commerce, education, and government in the state of Bavaria. Today, we will visit the new Kirch in Regensburg. The new Kirch is the main Lutheran parish church in this city, which is primarily Roman Catholic to this day. As we cross the Danube, we go over one of the world's oldest bridges. And to our left is perhaps the world's oldest restaurant, the Regensburg Wursthaus. This restaurant has been in operation since 1135 AD and serves to this day approximately 6,000 grilled verse a day. You can order your verse in 6, Zex, 8, Ak, or 10, Zen, with kraut and mustard. As we leave from the Verst house with full stomachs, we pass by the massive St. Peter's Cathedral, the Roman Catholic Cathedral for the Diocese of Regensburg, Germany. And in passing St. Peter's Cathedral, we come to the new Fair Kirch. Around the church is a plaza for gathering. In the weeks leading up to Christmas, this is the site of the Regensburg Christmas Market. The new Fair Kirch was originally to be a pilgrimage church devoted to Mary prior to the Reformation. The foundations of the church were put in place in 1519 over the site of a former Jewish synagogue, which was raised during the same period of time. The expulsion of the Jews and the destruction of their synagogue in Regensburg was a sad chapter in the history of this city. This history is preserved in the present day church with a display commemorating these events, as well as a Reformation timeline. After some delays in the construction, the present church building was completed and consecrated in 1540, about 20 years after the initial groundbreaking. In 1542, the city of Regensburg adopted the Evangelical Lutheran Confession. Consequently, the newest church in the city became the first Lutheran parish church in Regensburg, and thus the name Neufeuerkirch, or New Parish Church. The original altar of the church served for about 100 years before it was moved to the city hall and may now be seen in the local historical museum in Regensburg. The present-day altar, still in use, dates to 1617. The pulpit, which stands high above the congregation, has one of the few remaining pulpit hourglasses in Bavaria. This hourglass helped the preacher know how long his sermon was running, and it also allowed the congregation to measure the length of time of the sermon in order to ensure that the preacher did not short them on the sermon time. Oftentimes, preachers would point to the hourglass to remind the congregation of their own short life as they called them to repentance. As I wandered into the Neufera Kirch in Regensburg during my travels, I came at one of those delightful moments when one travels. As the organist of the church was practicing for the upcoming Sunday. Here is the organ and the organist at the Neufera Kirch in Regensburg.
This parish church is still an active Lutheran church to this day and serves as the Lutheran parish church for the University of Regensburg, which is one of the major universities in Bavaria, as well as continuing ministry to the surrounding community of Regensburg. Regensburg is another gem in the treasury of beauty that Bavaria holds. For Lutherans, the Neufera Kirch is a home away from home in this lovely city. Thanks for traveling with me to Regensburg for a brat and a tour of the Neufera Kirch. <laughs>